Hey guys, Drew with Kush Collectibles. Welcome back to a brand new video. In this video, we're going to be sitting down with three dealers that wanted to show us cool coins at their table at the fun show. We're sitting down with Tony, Rodney, and Paul, all great guys in the hobby that want to make it flourish. They also want to service their customers best by offering them great coins like the ones you're going to see in this video. So make sure to enjoy these clips and uh, these guys are pretty awesome. All right, guys. So we're here with Rodney with KNR Rare Coins, and he wanted to show us a rare coin. What do you want to show us, Rodney? Uh, I recently bought uh, some some new soft packs at the. Uh, it was at the St. Louis auction, uh, probably November, I guess. But in this uh, deal that I bought, there's the only known um, 880 Hot Lips Morgan Dollar in a soft pack GSA. So I thought it was pretty cool. But, yeah. Uh, yeah. There was there was actually some better dates in there, but this one was really a surprise. But, uh, not a lot of people know about that coin, so that's great. So what kind of draws you to soft packs in terms of wanting to buy them and, and kind of offer them to people? It's all about the scarcity. There's just uh, not there's not as many out there as people think there are. Uh, they only package up 100,000 of them, so, yeah, and I'm sure a lot of them got cut out over the years that, uh, just because a lot of people don't know about them, don't care about them or whatever, but, uh, but they're a lot more rare than what you think they are. Yeah. A lot of fun, too. Well, I'm glad you uh, shared that with us. What other cool things are you showing off at the fun show? Just trying to sell a whole variety of things here? Yeah, um, yesterday was just a crazy busy day and uh, bought a lot of good coins, sold a lot of good coins. And I'm, it's just like a, my head's still in a, in a whirlwind right now. Like it just, it was just crazy. But, but I'll show a few that I uh, just bought. And these are kind of neat. Uh, I need my glasses on. But uh, here's some early NGC coins. And then there's a nice uh, original Walker that was that just came in. Nice dollar and a couple of nice barbers. But uh, that's that's typical of what uh, I bought yesterday and just bought these this morning. So um, this is just a, a great show. If, if anybody gets a chance to come out to this show, you should. It's so much fun and it's the, probably the biggest show that there is so far. Yeah, it seems like a good buying and selling show. Oh, yeah, uh, it's great. It's fantastic. What's a, what's a good way, if someone ever wants to contact you and see, maybe talk to you about inventory or buying something from them, uh, how can they get a hold of you? Yeah, just uh, it's on my sign right here. But, uh, you, can, you can call me at 214-679-5527. Uh, my email is rodneylevingston1963 at gmail.com. Uh, but uh, any questions or whatever you want to call, I, I'll answer the phone if I've got it with me or if I'm in, in the area. I'll, uh, I'll give you a call back and we can talk about whatever you want to talk about. Wonderful, Rodney. Thank you so much for showing us these coins. I appreciate Thanks, it. Thanks, guys. Y'all are awesome. All right, guys. So we're here with Tony with uh, Cabbage Coins. He wanted to show us a cool coin today. Uh, what do you want to show us, Tony? Uh, today I've got this 1930 uh, Czechoslovakia five ducat coin. Um, it is in an, an unk details holder for clean, but the cleaning is exceptionally light. And the reason I love this coin is because of how rare this piece is and kind of the story behind it. Um, Czechoslovakia was a pretty young nation when they minted these coins in 1930. Um, they uh, created some trade coinage in order to increase commerce with other nations around them. Uh, and they created these in a five ducat, a ten ducat size, and I believe there were some smaller pieces like a three ducat and some one ducats. And in recent years, these coins have kind of gone crazy uh, in, in auctions. And uh, the 1930 is about half the mintage of the other years, so it's a bit more rare. You never see these at auction. Uh, only about 500 pieces uh, were made. It's a hefty coin. It's a it's a gold coin. It's got uh, King Wenceslas on the on the obverse, and it's got the uh, Czech um, Czech flag with the Czech line on the reverse. It's just a really good looking coin and a very interesting piece. Um, I love having it in my case, and uh, it's definitely the highlight of I think of of my case here at the show at the Fun Show. Hey, how has the Fun Show been for you so far? It's actually been really great. Um, the amount of traffic coming through here, it's been surprising. This is my first Fun Show. Uh, I usually do shows kind of in the Northeast, and I came down to Florida for this show, and I'm going to keep coming back because the amount of traffic we had yesterday was insane. They actually have good food here too, which is a highlight, like within the uh, you know within the convention center. And um, yeah, there's been a lot of activity. It's been great seeing a lot of my old friends, uh, other coin dealers, and things. That's wonderful, Tony. How did you come across this coin and to be able to offer it to the public? Uh, yeah, so I acquired this coin through um, a business deal with a, a good friend of mine. And most of my, um, you know, most of my purchases often are, are from dealer to dealer. Dealers that worked with me in the past, uh, we've developed a rapport and a relationship, and uh, gave them a strong offer for the coin, and uh, I was able to take it into my inventory. Wonderful, Tony. And 
what do you think the estimated value of this coin is if you were to offer it to the public and someone wanted to know more about it? Yeah. So this coin, um, right now, I'm, uh, I've got it listed at eleven thousand um, dollars. It's on my website as well for for eleven thousand. Um, recent comps have been closer to the mid uh, teens and, and closer to twenties on uh, kind of a non clean, unclean version. The clean is exceptionally light on this. It's only really apparent kind of on the reverse, um, but it's a beautiful coin and like I said, the rare, more rare date of the series. So. Uh, but yeah, somebody can reach out to me through Instagram. I'm Cabbage Coins on Instagram. Uh, they can also contact, look at my website, cabbage-coins.com or cabbagecoins.com. Um, and or just come out to the fun show and, and, and come say hi. Wonderful, Tony. Thank you so much for talking with us. And uh, we hope you enjoy the rest of the show. Cool. Yeah. Thanks a lot, Drew. All right, guys. I'm here with Paul with Numismatic Trading. Paul, what do you got to show us today? Morning. I'm Paul. I'm uh, here at Numismatic Tech Trading. We're booth one, 1131 at Fun. I have two coins that we bought pretty recently that I'd like to talk about real quick. They're both gold dollars. They're both in uh, OGH holders and they're both gold CACs. And we really like these coins because they are super flashy. They're far above their stated grade on these old holders. And they both uh, have a lot of qualities that are attractive to collectors such as the holder, the gold CAC, and the quality of the coins themselves. So why do you think they're so undergraded for, uh, you know, how old the slabs are? So these coins, I mean, they were far stricter in grading back then, as uh, many people know. And these are in the OGH 2.1 holders, so they're the two-part ring holders. And this is back in, I think, 1987, briefly. This was a very short-lived holder. And they were much stricter with grading back then. And I think if these coins were cracked, they'd both be easy fives, possibly even a touch higher for the uh, 1884. Yeah, they look like tremendous pieces. How has the fun show been for you guys so far? Fun's been good. We've sold a lot of coins. We haven't bought so much, but I think that was our goal coming in. We came in pretty heavy on inventory, so our goal here was to sell. And sell have we. Wonderful, Paul. Thank you so much for showing us these coins. How can we get a hold of you if you want to sell, us some, sell you some coins or reach out about buying some coins from you? Uh, the best way to get a hold of us for now until about a month when we have a retail site up is uh, Numismatac on Instagram. Wonderful. All right. Thank you so much, Paul. Yeah. Did you guys enjoy these interviews today? If you did enjoy these interviews, make sure to leave a like. Comment your thoughts on the coins they had to share. Which one jumped out at you the most? Make sure to subscribe because we're coming out with videos every single week. We want you guys to be a part. We'll see you guys in the next video.